Good morning. Good morning. How is everybody today? Good. Okay, today we are going to do our introductory lesson to a brand new vowel team. This vowel team is the EA vowel team, and I want you just to be some investigators for a minute, and I want you to silently read the words on this first row. E. Oh, silently. Okay, now let's read them out loud. E, B, P, P. Easy or hard? Easy. Easy. One syllable words. What do you notice about the sound that the EA vowel team is making in this row? Raise your hand if you make an observation about what the sound of that vowel team is making in row one. What do you think, Nolan? It says E. Say it with me again. Ready? E -P -P. Now, what do you notice about the location of the EA vowel team? Raise your hand when you notice, when you can make a, a noticing or an observation about where EA is in those words. Because we know all year that location matters for spelling, right? Yes. And for, and for pronunciation. What do you notice about the location, Tatum? Um, it's, a, it's in like a lot of places. Like one of them's at the front, another one's at the middle, and another one's at the end. So it can go in a lot of different places. Oh, and I agree as well. It can be in the beginning of a word, it can be in the middle of a word, and it can be at the end of a word. Some vowel teams we know only go at the end or only go in the beginning or only go in the middle. E-A says E in all the locations. Okay, silently. Read these words. Ooh, you were better at being silent this time. Now let's read them out loud. Bread, head, bread, bread. Ooh. What do you notice about the sound that E-A is making in that set of words? Um, it's making the A. Oh, let's read them again. Ready? Bread, head, bread, bread. Ooh, get your hand tappers out. Let's make sure that it really does say eh. Let's say bread. Bread. It does indeed say eh. What do you notice about the location of ea when it says eh? What do you notice about the location? Yeah? So I noticed that it's like at the end, sort of, or like in the middle. Almost. It's not at the end because it has the letter D. It's in the middle. It's middle. in the middle. And E-A says eh only in the middle of the word. If it's at the end, it won't say eh. If it's at the beginning, it won't say eh. All right, last one. Ready, go. Silently first. Together. Break, shake, break. Who can tell me what sound EA is making in this group? Lily. A. A. Oh, let's do a check. Ready? Hand tappers out. Let's Buh. tap out this word. Buh. 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 A. You were right. It does have the A. So, we can now say that EA is a vowel team that makes three sounds. What are those three sounds? E-A says E, E-A says E, and E-A says A. A, not A, but long A. All right, let's do our ET cards. Here we go. This is what, I'm gonna do it and then you're gonna repeat. E-A says E like eat in the beginning, middle, or end of a word. Try it with me. E-A says E like eat. In the beginning, middle, or end of a word. My turn. E A says E eh, like bread in the middle of a word. Try it. E A says E eh, like bread in the middle of a word. E A says A e like steak. Try it with me. E A says A e like steak. Now, this is kind of interesting. But E-A says A like steak only in three words. 
The only three words that EA says A is the word great, the word steak, and the word break. So I have a little saying for you to remember those three words. It says, a great steak will break the bank. Do you know what it means when you break the bank? No. Does it literally mean like Wells Fargo falls apart? No. <laughs> What that means is it's so expensive that you're like broke. You spend all your money. And it actually came from the saying when people had old fashioned piggy banks and the only way to get your money out was to break your piggy bank and get your money out. That's where that saying comes from. But people now say that, that boat was so expensive it broke the bank, meaning that it was really expensive. Okay, so what are the three words that say A? Great. 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 E A says A like steak, only in three words. A great steak will break the bank. All right, let's do some word sorting. Um, where would this picture go? What is this a picture of? T. T. Where should I put it? E. 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 Open up your packets right now. You have this same sorting page. Oh, you don't. Never mind. Oh, yeah, you do. You have the same sorting page in your packet. Go ahead and open up your packet. And you have this packet. Keep going. Keep going in your packet. You have this same sorting page. We would say T says E. So let's tap out T. Ready? Go. T. E. Go ahead and write T right here with your E A says E. All right, all of this, what is this? Lots of different kinds of meat. Meat. Where would meat go? Everybody, where would meat go? E. E. You got it. It still says E. Tap it out. E. Go ahead and write meat, where E-A says E. Okay, how about this? What's this a picture of? Head. 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 Where would I place head? Uh, uh, Let's head. try it. Uh, head. Uh, head. Uh, head. Where would that one go? Uh, E-A uh, says eh. You got it. And let's try this one. What is this one? Thread. 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 Here we go. Tap it. Thread. And this time, I want you to say instead of th. Don't put a uh on it. Ready? Go. Thread. Where would it go? Thread. E A says eh. How about this one? Some. Great. Like a great job sticker. Tap it with me. Great. Great. Where would it go? Oh, it's one of our three. A great steak. Good job. Go ahead and write it here. Great. And our final one. What do you think this one is? Break. You got it. This is breaking. That would probably not be a good idea to break a brick wall with your fist. Probably would not, probably would not go well. All right, let's do break. Ready, go. Break. Like you're going to break something and it also goes in E-A. Give me thumbs up when you've got those words. Nice, good job. Oh, whoops. Okay. Now, here's the thing about decoding or reading EA words. The tricky thing is, we know that they can make it, EA can make three different sounds. So when I come to a word I don't know, it's tricky to know how to pronounce it, right? Yeah. Because it could make three different sounds. I can eliminate the EA pretty quickly if it's not great steak or break, right? But I still wouldn't know, does it say E or does it say E? So what we're going to do is we're going to flex the sound. Everybody get your arm out and flex it like you're like a bodybuilder. And when you flex it, it's two different motions, right? So we're going to start to flex 
the sound of EA. If I come to a word and I have no idea what the word is, I'm going to flex it and try both sounds. So if I was going to read this word, it could say lead or it could say lead. If I was going to say this word, it could say read or it could say red. And you know what's weird? Lead is a real word. Lead is a real word. Read is a real word. Red is a real word. So sometimes there are words that you can flex and it works both ways. Other times there are words that we just don't know and we're like, I don't know. It could be yeed or it could be yed. Sometimes you don't know and you just have to read the whole sentence and figure it out by context. Let's try this one. What would this one maybe be? Zeeb. Could be Zeeb. Could be Zeb. Zeb. Could be Zeeb. Could be Zeb. How about this one? Could be Zeeb. Could be Zeb. Zeb. Oh, you guys are good. So this is really when you come to a word you don't know. You might have to flex the sound. So this could be reach or it could be wretch. Let's use the context of the sentence to figure it out. Read this sentence with me. Reach for the stars. Oh, and in the context, would it be wretch for the stars or reach for the stars? Reach for the stars. It would be reach for the stars. Let's try another one. This could be unclear. It could be unclear. Ooh, let's read this sentence. The directions were unclear. Unclear. What does the prefix un mean? Not. You got it. It means not. So if directions were unclear, would you have an idea what to do? No. No, no you'd be like. Yeah. All right. How about this one? It could be instead. It could be indeed. Let's read the sentence. I wish you would read instead of watch the movie. It could say I wish you would read instead of watch the movie. It doesn't make sense, right? So a lot of times just because we know language, we can figure out which sound it's making. Unless we don't know the word. Read instead. Okay, here's where you need your whiteboard markers out. All of that was decoding or reading words with EA. And because you're brilliant third graders, most of those words you already knew. But what if we want to use EA as a vowel team and we need to spell, and we are unsure how to spell a word? Raise your hand if you're ever writing along and then you're like, ooh, I don't know how to spell that word. Oh, me, every single day. You too? Every single day. So our strategy is always going to be ask yourself, how many syllables does it have? Tap out the sounds of the syllable and ask yourself, is the vowel long or short? It's always about the vowel. So let's try. This is what? Ice cream. Yeah, it could be ice cream. It could be whipped cream. Let's just spell the word cream. First step, how many syllables does the word cream have? One. Just syllables. Yeah, everybody get your syllable arm out. Tap syllable. Cream. cream. Just one syllable. Okay, so if I'm going to do, here I go with my, if I'm going to do cream, my first step is I'm going to find out how many syllables do I have, and I have just one syllable. Give yourself a one syllable scoop. You got it. Now we're going to tap out the sounds in the syllable. Ready, go. Cream. Let's do that again, and this time, instead of you saying k, I want you to say k. Tap it like it's hot. K. Ooh, much better. Let's tap cream. 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 I have four sounds. Cream. Four sounds. All right, here we go. Ready? Go. How'd I do? No. no. No? Why not? What did I do wrong, Caitlin? You didn't um, add the E-A. You only put the E. Oh, I know that if a vowel has a guardian consonant, it's going to say short. What did I just read? What did I just write? 
breath. If it's long, that's my final step. It's always about the vowels. If it's long, I have to do something. I have to either leave it open, so it can be an open syllable. I have to give it a magic E, or I have to give it a vowel team. And in this case, I'm gonna give it a vowel team. Everybody, help me spell cream. Cream. I needed to give it a vowel team in order to make it say cream instead of creme. Let's see how I did. Can I go back to this now? If you want to get help me. Okay, thank you. How'd I do? Good. How did you do? Good. All right, let's do another one. Okay, what is going on here? Yeah, something's injured and it needs to heal. heal. Let's tap out the word heal. Heal. Here's what I want your to sound like. Not huh. Let's try it. Ready? Like you're trying to. Oh, you got it. Okay, step number one. How many syllables do I have? Heel. Heel. One. one. Give me one syllable scoop. Now tap out the sounds in heel. He. Oh, how many sounds do you have? Three. 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 Capture the sounds in heel. He. Oh. Ooh, it's a long vowel. What must you do? Yeah. What do you need to do if it's a long vowel? Uh, um, add in uh, a or another uh, yeah. vowel because otherwise it'll be a short vowel. Yeah, you got it. If I want it to be long, I need to leave it open. I need to give it a magic E or I need to make sure it's a vowel team. Nicely done. Um, how did you do? Good. Good. Nice. Now I'm going to show you something crazy. Are you ready? What is this word? Help. 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 Everybody say heel. Heal. Now say help. Help. Are those two words related? Yes. 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 So if I wanted to spell help, I could think oh, that's related to heal. And did my sound flex? Yes. Heal. Help. It sure did. And heal is a verb. It's like when something's getting better. And help is a noun, it's an abstract noun. And if you put TH at the end of some verbs, you get a noun. So heel became help. Good job. Nicely done. How about this word? Anybody have a guess? We're, we're stepping it up, we're making it harder. What is this word? What could this picture be? Could be a sunset. The opposite of sunset on the other part of the day is sunrise. sunrise. But sunrise probably wouldn't be a good word I would choose for an EA lesson. Do you have any other ideas? Oh, no. oh. oh say it louder. So smart. Daybreak is the word we're going to spell. Are you ready? Step number one, how many syllables? Daybreak. Day break. Two. Nice. Two syllables. So go ahead and give me two syllable scoops. Day break. Now let's spell one syllable at a time. Ready? Go. Tap up. Day. D. A. Do you already know a vowel team that says A? Yes. A Y. You got it. A Y. Day break. Oh, guess what? That's one of my fabulous three. A great steak will break. break. Here we go. B -er -a. How did you do? Good. Did you capture all the sounds? Yes. Nice job. Did you get E A? Says A? Yes. yes. Only three words, right? Mm -hmm. All right. How'd you do? Good. Good. Check, check. Nice. Here's what's coming this week. Notice that I have two words like break could be break, hopefully not a brick wall with your fist. Or what's the other kind of break? Like, like break that piggy bank could That would be like breaking something. What's the other kind of break? Hit the car brake. Yeah, like you hit the brakes, like. And I also have the word.
word heal like something's broken and it must heal. Do I have another kind of heal? Yeah, like your arm need, is broken, needs to heal. Do I have another kind of heal? Health. 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 But another word that means heal, it's another. Health. Ooh, Miss Wedemeyer knows. Like you have a heal. So a lot of these words that are EA words, we're going to talk this week about homophones. And a lot of them have other words that are spelled with the EE. -E, and that's tomorrow's lesson. So here's your challenge today. Today for word work. You are going to play boom. You can sort these words into your page and then cut them apart and play boom with a friend. Some of you are going to read a story called Ziggy the Anteater and you're going to identify EA words in text. This is a true story about this little baby anteater named Ziggy and it's so very sad. So I hope you get a chance to find EAs in there. You guys did amazing today. My final question is, we've been talking about vowel teams for a little few weeks now. And some vowel teams are predictable and some it's vowel teams are unpredictable. Which one do you think EA is? Is it a predictable vowel team that we always know what it's going to do? Or no. is it an unpredictable vowel team? It is unpredictable. Do we always know what it's going to say? No. No. It's like rolling dice. You don't know what you're going to get. Do we have a strategy to figure out what we're going to get? Yes. What could we do if we don't know? Flex the sound, right? Try it both ways because most of the time we're going to be able to recognize it. Hey, give yourself a pat on the back today. You guys did amazing. 10 out of 10.